Ah. Oh. Ow. All right, so I'm gonna be filming a short. I can't see. And I'm gonna be doing a behind the scenes at the same time to kind of give you an idea of how I make something. But um, I'm filming the behind the scenes on my VHS because my nice camera will be being used for the short. So the idea, all I have right now is, it's gonna be like one of the ones I do like an old movie. So it's gonna look old like 1930s, 1950s in that range. And the idea is, uh, sunglasses were just invented and they're not cool yet and <laughs> i'm just going to take it from there i don't know what i'm going to do with that the way i go about doing these old movie videos is like this all right so i have four things you need i got a projector hooked up to a laptop and that projects onto this wall right here. I got, a, I got a light, a single light. This is an old photo light that used to be my dad's that when I was working on my movie Island, I cut out a piece of cardboard to turn it into a spotlight. Um, and I got the camera. And this is something I invented myself. Uh, this helps it look like old and blurry and grainy. I take a dryer sheet and I've taped it over the lens and uh, ideally a used dryer sheet because I found new ones are too opaque and I just have a TV set up with HDMI stream from the camera so I could see myself. One thing that's important is uh, that I use a four by three, which is the square aspect ratio, because that simply logistically, you see the wall isn't that big. And this is the biggest clean uh, white wall I have in the apartment. So four by three gives me much more working area as far as like shooting wider. So I don't have to worry about getting the cabinets or the whatever so now i gotta focus focus on uh my hand i'll go on google and i'll google like 1930s office composition that makes sense as far as me uh being the character standing with this behind me so I have the first character, and I'm probably going to do all his scenes first. But this is the guy who's wearing sunglasses, and <laughs> because they aren't cool yet, the world is shitting on them. The, the key thing is you have to remember the good things, like the things you know you're going to use in editing here, so then when you play the other characters, you could uh, respond to those things. So I'm just going to do this entire scene as this guy. Hello, boss. Uh, more 1930s, more ba ba ba. Hello, boss. Uh, how are you doing? Mm, maybe he needs a fedora. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm picturing him uh, getting insulted, totally railed, and the guy's a little weasel, so he doesn't, uh, <laughs> so he doesn't know how to respond. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, let me tell you. Uh, these are sunglasses. I wear them on my eyeballs for to uh protect the, them from the sun oh these uh these are uh sunglasses they were just made they're just invented new invention oh god damn it what are you wearing on your face jesus christ you look like shit yeah this is a good boss hmm mm. very serious very serious hello hello yeah I like him talking like this. Yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, here we go. <sighs> so he's looking up this way. Well, first, I want there to be a coworker in the scene he's talking to, and he's going to be standing right here. So yes, I uh, got the quarterlies. Uh, 
They're looking great. They're looking great. Well, Jesus Christ, what are you wearing on your face? Is this some kind of game to you, Johnson? You want to keep your job? Let me see your eyeballs. Everything is set. Whoa, Johnson! Did your wife see you leave the house like that? You are disgusting, Johnson. Well, you, you are just, you are, oh, you are an ugly man. Oh my God, I thought you had no eyeballs. Oh man, Johnson, you gotta take dope. I'm sad. <laughs> Oh man, Johnson. Less Southern. Well, you could be a Southern. I could be a Southerner. No, I don't think so, though. You are such a small man, Johnson. You're. We. I've been. I've. I've been on this planet for forty years, looking directly at the sun with my eyes, normal, normal eyes, and I don't. God damn it, Johnson. People these days have no sense about them. I should know, I just divorced my first cousin. But all you really need to do a bunch of characters is a couple wigs, a couple hats. People who watch my videos have definitely noticed I only have a couple. <laughs> this guy's gonna be mostly silent, I think. I think he's just there to laugh. So it's always more humiliating when two people laugh at you versus uh, one person laughing at you. So this guy's gonna be pretty quick. He's just talking to the boss who's looking kind of up at him. So he's standing next to him. That's the hardest part. You just gotta remember where each character is kind of geographically. All right, here we go. Now, did you see the quarterly reports? Too nerdy. Well, uh, boss. So boss, did you see the uh, quarterly reports? Well, yes, I was most ple Oh! God, what? Oh my God! Sometimes you just got, got to do a couple different deliveries. <sighs> what were you thinking? What were you? What were? What were? What were? What were? What were? Oh, God! Thank God he's gone. <laughs> Oof! I don't know what he's thinking. Oh, God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof! No, thank you. Ooh, God! No, no, no! Oof! No, thank you. Next scene is going to be him with some what with a lover. I mentioned a wife as the boss, but I don't think she'll be his wife. I'll probably cut that line. And I think I'm going to cut right into the action of him talking to some woman he loves. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Oof. So I I have the I have the uh, light on a dimmer and I'm gonna use it as if the sun suddenly gets really bright and he has to put on the glasses. And then the girl is disgusted. She's appalled by <laughs> how he looks with the glasses. All right. Billy, you are the most incredible woman I've ever met. And to spend life without you would be torture. And I just want you to, no. Oh, okay, wait a second. Oh, ah, okay. Look at this dramatic silhouette. Billy. You are one of the most amazing women I've ever met. She has to be the most amazing. I keep messing that up. Okay. No, no, there's, it's just protection. The, so the sun doesn't... No, Billy! Billy! No! That'll do for that. Gotta move the light over. For the other angle. Gotta change the background, and then I gotta dress up as a woman. So what I was envisioning for the scene is... Uh, he puts on the sunglasses when it gets bright and she just gets repulsed. And I like the idea of like, I like the idea of this being like the day sunglasses were invented so people just don't understand what they are. Bobby, what, what happened to your eyes? Oh my God. I thought you were man, Bobby Johnson. Bobby Johnson, that's what his name has turned into. Cause he was Johnson at the office. So I guess he's Bobby Johnson now. No, that is the one thing I cannot do. I can't love a man without eyeballs. Well, even if they are there, what kind of man needs protection from the sun? I look at, look, I'm looking at the sun right now. I'm look, I don't need protection. I'm not a little baby. And I, I'm thinking there's going to be intertitles, like an old movie, like popping up that give a little context before each scene. Last scene is uh, the harrowing suicide. Well, 
This looks to be about it for Bobby Johnson. The world has robbed him of all his riches, and he has nothing left to his name. Who said that? Oh, 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 oh. I've decided I'm gonna be a bit of a, a little newsboy. Extra, extra, you read all about it. Everyone, look, there's a man about to jump off a building. Don't jump. Never mind, he's an eyeless freak. He's got no eyeballs. Throw shit at him. Mm. <laughs> okay, that about does her. The first thing I do while editing is I use this program called Plural Eyes, which um, syncs all your audio automatically and it's a huge lifesaver. So um, I think everything about filmmaking is better and more accessible now. But there is this little caveat where editing is much harder to make look exciting on camera because <laughs> There's a lot of old movie scenes that are really great of people editing with the reels and all the physical equipment. And nowadays it's just me sitting at a computer for like, I don't know, hours on end. Like a short video will take me two to three hours, like a really short one. But on average, they take probably six to eight, if not more. I usually like to do a uh, color grading first. And uh, I usually, for these old movie ones, I have one I've already done, which usually works pretty well. Oh, doesn't work so well. But, um, so essentially, um, I use this program called Film Convert, which emulates a lot of film stocks. So you could actually get a lot of really good grainy looks from it. And it doubles as a color grading software, so it kind of is really powerful in that regard. But, um, I just got to fix whatever is happening here. Oh, uh, these, uh... These are uh, sunglasses. They help me uh, like the, the, with the sun's too bright. So one little note I like to add is that um, I use this plugin called Isotope Vinyl, which is a vinyl emulator. So um, it sounds like this normally. Good morning, boss. How are you doing today? And Good. then the vinyl emulator makes it sound like this. Good morning, boss. How are you doing today? What's fun about improv is you're still storytelling while you're editing. You're not just executing uh, vision you already had you're you're finding the story in what you did so i do have a lot of fun doing that rearranging the clips and sometimes finding new jokes just in the editing so it makes you be creative and it keeps you on your toes but yeah i'm just going to do this for about six hours now or however long and then um i should have a movie so i've spent about six hours working on this and it's all together and I just got to do some sound mixing and some audio work but um there is one sound effect I do have to record so let me do that Perfect. So I just hit export on the film. Uh, it took about eight hours total. I'd say it took like an hour and a half to shoot, six, seven hours to edit. Um, I hope this gave you some sort of look at my process, how I go about making these elaborate looking shorts alone. You know, you just got to get creative, use a couple shortcuts, make some stuff up. You know, uh, People always ask me, how did I learn filmmaking? And really, it was just by doing it. You just, I've done it since I was eight years old. You just learn stuff along the way and um, yeah, have fun. Don't do something just because you feel like you should. Like I, I used to write scripts, but then I found out I don't like doing that. So then I stopped and I have way more fun and I think make way better films when I'm improvising. So um, I, I don't like lighting. So you see how I minimalize that. Uh, so yeah, just minimize the stuff that makes it a chore for you and just maximize the stuff that makes it fun and, um, get creative. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And cut.